What is up my friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here Welcome, so today I'm going to be doing a revolve haul and I figured I only have about eight items in this haul So it might not be enough for like a full video So at the end of the video, I might just get into some random vloggy type stuff I might show you what I got Andre for his birthday that's coming up I might show you how I like organize my activewear These are just like random things that people have given me ideas for lately so we might get into that at the end of this video because I just don't think that this haul is gonna take very long so this is just gonna be a little mishmash um, but we're just gonna go ahead and start with the revolve haul so as always everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with all of my personal links discount codes and measurements for a reference so let's hop right into it so the first thing that I got is this little crop quarter zip and I absolutely love it. It's super, super comfy, uh, slightly oversized, which is my absolute favorite. I love things that are just like a little bit oversized, especially uh, as tops, but are still cropped, you know what I mean? So you don't like completely lose your shape. So I absolutely love this. It's made from like a terry cloth. You know what like towels are made out of? The inside just feels kind of like regular, but the outside is like terry cloth. So I didn't have anything else like this and I love it. The next thing that I got is another crop quarter zip because these are just my absolute favorite. Um, so very, very similar to the last one as far as like structurally, it's just a little bit oversized, but it's still cropped and it's in this nice rust color. Um, the material is definitely different though. It's more just like regular cotton on the outside and it's like a warm fleecy material on the inside. But honestly, I wear one of these just like crop half zips or just like crop hoodie type things pretty much every day. So in my opinion, you can never have too many. By the way, I realized that I just completely forgot to tell you that the first um, crop quarter zip I got in a size small and I also got this one in a size small. So the next thing is this royal blue sweater and I just thought that this was super unique. I'm actually not sure if I'm even wearing it right. I think this is how they were wearing it on the website but they might also wear it like this like completely off the shoulder, um, but this is what it looks like from the front. So I just thought that this was super unique. Honestly, Revolve is amazing if you want like super unique tops, um, super unique pieces in general, but like they have some really cool tops on there, like different cutouts, different ways you can tie things. I don't know, I just think that they have amazing tops on there. Again, I'm not really sure if I'm wearing it right, but. I feel like it looks cute like this. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go with it. And I also got this top in a size small. Okay, so this is the next top. So as you can see, like I said, just a super unique top. It has just like complete um, shoulder cutouts on it. So this is definitely a top for like going out. Like this is something that I would wear with like a high rise skirt or something or maybe some Spanx or just like jeans um, and heels. I would wear this in like Vegas or Miami or somewhere fun um, just like when you're like going out because it's definitely not like your average, you know, everyday top that you would wear. This is very like like look at me, you know what I mean? But I think it's super cute and unique um, and it's black so it'll go with everything. And I also got this in a size small. Okay, so the next thing that I got is this matching skirt and long sleeve crop top set. So again, I just thought that this was super unique. The skirt has a nice little slit on the side, but it doesn't go too high. I love that it's midi length. I absolutely love midi length skirts and dresses because I don't have to worry about my booty popping out of the back of them. And I feel like it's pretty flattering on the glutes as well. I also love the little tie on the side here. That's definitely unique. The top has a cutout in the back of it. Um, the only thing about this top is if you want the cutout to be like, on full display, you can't wear a bra with it. You could just wear like sticky boobs if you want to. Um, I don't really feel the need to, but you also might be able to wear like a bralette or something with like a cute little like strappy back or something like that. Um, but if you wore like a regular bra, it would definitely just like show the like kind of like boring looking bra strap back there. But overall, this outfit is super, super comfortable while also being cute because material is like super stretchy. So it just like moves with you. I don't feel restricted in this at all. So. 
love this and i got both of these in a size small my bun is just getting more and more disheveled as this video goes on but that's okay that always happens um so the next thing that i got is this red blazer So I also got this in a size small and I just think it is so freaking cute. I've been super into blazers lately. I don't know what it is. I just feel like they're very popular right now and a lot of people are wearing blazers. Like obviously it's like something you'd wear at work but people are making it like a like nighttime like going out type outfit especially in this like bright red. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I think this is what I'm going to wear for Valentine's Day. Um, I just feel like it's so appropriate because, I mean, look at this. So this would be like the full fit, just with some like black jeans and thigh high boots, or maybe I would do like Spanx and thigh high boots, something like that. I don't know. I just think it's so cute and this blazer fits so nicely. It's so flattering, I think. Okay, and then the last thing is this oversized color block sweater dress. And I got this in a size medium because I just wanted to make sure that it, it was actually oversized because a lot of times things say they're oversized and then I get them in my regular size and they're just like not um, or they're too short. So this is what it looks like. So definitely not too short, which is amazing. It is super, super comfortable. Again, I think it's unique because of the color block. Um, you can never have too many oversized sweatshirts, in my opinion. Um, and I think it is so cute with a pair of over the knee boots. I've talked about this in a previous video. I just love something oversized with over the knee boots because oversized is just super casual, but then these just like dress it up a little bit and it's kind of a little Ariana Grande moment. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. This is the last thing that I got from Revolve. Um, so again, everything is linked in the description box down below. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into a few other things for you so this video isn't super, super short. Okay, so I'm literally in my closet right now because Andre is in the other room and I don't want him to hear me talking about what I got him for his birthday. So his birthday is next week. Um, so let me just show you some things that I got him. Okay, so the first thing that I got him is this hot sauce variety pack from this brand called Truff. Um, it's like sealed, so I'm not gonna open it, but I've heard about Truff. Um, it's just like a super bougie, popular hot sauce brand out of California, and I've seen people talk about it on Instagram before, and Andre loves his hot sauce like he's all about his hot sauce we probably have like 10 different hot sauces on hand here at all times um and these are like super pricey so i know that he'd never buy them for himself um but i've heard that they're really really good so i got him these and i will link all all of this stuff for you as well and then the next thing that i got him is this cologne it's called sedley by parfums de marley paris so this is a cologne that literally every time we've ever been in nordstrom and passed by it he'll smell it and be like oh my gosh this smells so good like oh my gosh this is amazing like he's done it multiple times um and he loves cologne too that's like another one of his things that he just loves um but this for literally a 2.5 fluid ounce thing it was like $200 like it is stupid expensive and personally I can't really justify spending that much money on like perfume for myself like I don't know for me it's just like not really something that I'm into but like he loves his colognes so I finally was like okay I need to get this for him because clearly he loves this stuff and it does smell really good like I've smelled it in the store and everything so yeah. Okay, and then the next thing that I got him are these tank tops from Lululemon. So this one is the Metal Vent Breathe Tank. And this one is the Metal Vent Tech Seamless 2.0. And he wears an XL in Lululemon, in most Lululemon, um, and definitely their tank tops. Um, but literally the other day, he was just like, my tank tops are all getting so gross and raggedy and dirty. And I was like, okay, that means it's time for me to get you some new tank tops. And Lululemon is like just the best, you know? So I think that he will really like these. And also something to note about um, Lululemon, just like men's items, is if it has a Metal Vent, 
scent in the name. It is made from their silverescent fabric, which is antimicrobial and anti-stink and moisture wicking. Like both of these are super, super lightweight and moisture wicking, but the fabric actually has antimicrobial properties in it. So you can wear it multiple times without it getting like super stinky. So they have it in some of the women's clothing too, but it is like so fantastic for the men's clothing because men, you know, they're sweaty, they, they get a little stinky. Um, so he loves this type of fabric. Okay, and then the last thing that I got him, I actually have already like put in an envelope here. Um, he is obsessed with cars and in particular Formula One. Like he loves Formula One, he loves watching that. Um, you know, personally, I can't relate. I don't know anything about cars and cars just like aren't very interesting to me, but he loves cars. Um, he knows so much about so many different cars. Like literally I'll just like point out a car on the street and he'll be like, oh yeah, that's such and such and such. And it has this engine and da da da. And I'm just like, what? How do you know all this? Um, but it's probably like the same thing with me and clothes. Like I know so much about clothes and he knows a lot about cars, um, which is great because he actually helps me with my car. But anyway, besides the point. Um, so I decided um, to get him a driving experience from Groupon. I was just looking online and looking at the options and I couldn't find any Formula One driving experiences here in Colorado. Um, and so I was looking at maybe like a NASCAR driving experience, but there are weight and and height limits and I'm pretty sure he's too tall which is so sad because he's only like 6'4 but he's too tall for the NASCAR driving experience um, which maybe he could have just lied and said he was 6'3 but I don't know I didn't want to like get him something that like he got there and then he couldn't do so I found a it's like a luxury car driving experience so like he'll get to choose between like some super nice Lamborghini and a Porsche he gets to like choose which one he wants to drive um, and he like goes on a drive like through this canyon I can link the exact group on I got him like if you're here in Colorado and you want to get that for your boyfriend or your dad or whoever but yeah um I have no idea if he's gonna like it but like I hope he does this was kind of just like one of those like I hope you like this kind of things I don't know if he's gonna be like oh like that's not a good car or I, I have no idea hopefully he'll like it and it's a thought that counts and with Groupon if you decide not to use something you can like trade your voucher in for something else which is why I thought it would be good to get it on Groupon because a it's discounted and B, if he doesn't like it, he can just trade it in for something else. So if I got him something that he was like, no, I don't wanna do this, he can just pick something else off the website and trade it in and do that other thing. But yeah, that is what I got him for his birthday. If you are friends with Andre, please do not tell him what I got him for his birthday. Please don't do that. I want it to be a surprise. I share with you guys because I know Andre's not gonna be watching my YouTube videos. He doesn't, you know, care about my hauls, like. <laughs> but yeah, so please don't, please don't tell him what I got him. But anyway, I just figured that I would share what I got him for his birthday in case any of you have a man who has a birthday coming up and you need some ideas for birthday presents or also Valentine's Day is coming up. Honestly, we don't really do a huge Valentine's Day for each other because basically it goes Christmas and then his birthday. Ooh! Yes. Okay. Guys, he literally just walked in here on me, but I was done talking anyway. So, but anyway, um, but yeah, it just goes Christmas, his birthday, and then Valentine's Day. Um, so we don't really do big things for Valentine's Day, or at least we haven't. I mean, we've only had one Valentine's Day together, but um, I think for this Valentine's Day, I might get him like literally just like more Lululemon because he can always use more of that. You know what I mean? But yeah, just wanted to share some gift ideas or gifting inspiration in case you need more. I posted a holiday gift guide in December that has a ton of um, gift ideas for him and for her. So if you haven't watched that already, there are a ton of gift ideas in that video And of course, they're not like necessarily something you have to give for like Christmas or anything like that Like you can give them for her birthday. You can give them for Valentine's Day. There's just like a ton of ideas in there um, But yeah, I just figured I would share with you. Sorry for talking so quietly slash like kind of whispering during this Entire segment, but clearly it was a good idea that I did because he walked in. Okay, so someone suggested that I show how I organize my activewear and I'm not gonna say that my method is like anything crazy or special or amazing but it works pretty well for me um so here we go so this is my dresser it's just from Ikea and these are my sports bras at least my most commonly worn sports bras and this might look like a crazy mess to you but they're all kind of sitting just like 
straight down here so I can see the straps because typically I recognize each sports bra by the straps that it has and I have them color coordinated from light to dark here. I used to have it coordinated by type of sports bra so I'd have like racer backs and then like um, the straps straight up and down and then a more like high support sports bras but I recently switched it to just color coordinated because I typically choose the leggings that I want to wear and then the sports bra that I want to wear so it's easier for me just to have them all color coordinated like this so if I choose you know a pair of black leggings then all my colored sports bras are right here or if I choose a pair of you know multicolored leggings and I want to choose a white sports bra or a black sports bra or whatever would go with that I can just easily find it in here um yeah so honestly I know it's not like amazingly organized or at least it might not look like that to you but to me it makes sense and then in these two drawers we have my most popular leggings that I wear like the most and I will show you the way that I fold them but basically I have them folded kind of in like fourths so I can see the logos of everything and I kind of have them sectioned off by brand here so in this drawer we have some TSL collection leggings we have some balance athletica leggings we have paragon seamless leggings we have some buff bunny collection leggings some lululemon leggings and let me show you how I fold my leggings Basically what I do is I fold them in half and then I take the end, I bring it up to the top and then I bring this like that. So that is how I fold my leggings in fourths and then I set them in the drawer like, sorry it's hard to do this with one hand, <laughs> but I set them in the drawer like that sideways so the um, little branding on the back side of each legging kind of shows. Even though I know that they're already sectioned off by brand in my drawers, it's just kind of like helpful to have it like that. Um, so this is what works best for me. For shorts, I fold them literally the exact same way, um, but since I don't have as many shorts as I have leggings, I keep them by type of shorts. So I have all my bike shorts right here. I have more loungy shorts in the middle, and then I have like track shorts here. I even have some um, denim shorts in here, and then more loungy shorts back here. I actually learned that exact fold of leggings when I worked at Lululemon. I'm pretty sure different stores did different folds, but at my store, that was the fold they taught us, and that's just how I've folded leggings ever since. Um, so yeah, that is where I keep most of my leggings and sports bras. I do have an armoire in the guest room that I also keep some stuff that I don't wear as often honestly i feel like with organization it's really just like up to what makes sense for you like some people love things to be color coordinated some people love to separate by brand some people love to separate by type of item maybe you separate your seamless leggings from your regular leggings or you separate your full length leggings from your seven eight length leggings like it's really just what makes sense to you as far as organization goes and then i will take you into my closet very briefly i haven't done a full apartment tour yet that is coming soon we are almost ready to do that I'm um, just waiting on like literally one thing to come in um, and then I'll feel like I'm ready to do the apartment tour but I'll take you into my closet just briefly like I won't give you a full rundown in my closet of how I organize everything I'll just show you a few more things on this shelf of my closet I have my most worn sweatpants and joggers and there's really no specific way I've organized these these are just the ones that I reach for the most all of the other ones go into the armoire in the guest room right above here I have my jeans and purses but again we don't need to go into a full closet tour right now because I'll probably do that when I actually do the full apartment tour and then I figured that I just show you my like countertop really quickly um, just because I'm here why not um, the counters really need to be clean right now and they're white so they show everything so please don't judge me um, for having dirty counters I need to clean them I didn't really think about that before filming this because I was not really planning on doing this but I'm doing it anyway um, so this is just like a little two-tier toiletry holder thing that I got from Target um, I will try to find a link for you if you want I'm not sure if they still sell this exact one but I'm sure they sell something similar like Andre's over here I know they still have this one at Target um, and they have this one at, in white as well um, but basically I keep most of my skincare and hair care products that I use most often up here everything that I don't use 
as often. I keep in the cabinets or drawers um, and I just put the tall ones up here and the shorter ones on the bottom here. It's really nothing special what I do here. I just basically place things based off of where they fit, but this is everything that I use the most often. And then over here, I have the makeup products that I use the most often. I have the brushes I use the most often. Um, I'm really not like a huge makeup person, so I don't really need a ton out here and I don't use a ton, but this is what I use the most often. This little um, countertop organizer is also from Target and I can link this. And the little beauty blender and beauty blender holder is from Amazon, I can link that too. And then this is my little jewelry holder. Um, I got this off of Amazon, I will try and link this for you. And this is just where I keep the jewelry that I wear the most often. So I have rings down here, some like miscellaneous um, earrings and earring cuffs. And then I have the earrings that I wear the most, watches and bracelets, and then necklaces on the back. So yeah. So hopefully that was helpful or fun to see or something like that. If you have any questions or if I forgot to link anything, just let me know and I will find the links and give them to you. Um, but I think that is going to be it for this random mishmash of a video, but I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you next time, guys. Also, let me know what you would like to see in future vlogs because clearly I'm taking suggestions because I never know like what to vlog about and sometimes suggestions are very helpful. So thank you for those.